سلام History time um, It's um, It's going to be a Difficult Hard time In, in my life um, It was back in September 1998 Yes, September um, <laughs> it, Difficult time at that time, we, Paul and I, we sold our house in Basker. And so I was like packing things up. And at that time, my dad was in the hospital um, dying from colon cancer. And um, so I was like busy working, thing, working the details out registering our children in the new schools, uh, really packing. Um, then uh, my oldest sister, my blood sister, Marin, called me on um, Wednesday. So she told, told me, get here right now, if the dad can't last long, you know, get here right now. And I, I told her, it's like, um, I am going to walk by faith. Our dad will wait for me. And, um, I will be leaving Friday. And she, Mary didn't like that. She was really, you can't live your life by faith, you know. You get here right now, really. Um, she, she, she got me upset. And she, she calls me to have a irritable bowel syndrome attack. Uh, I, I got sick and all the pressure from her is like, oh. And it shows, um, she has demons. And thinking about yeah, she she she's a Jezebel. And uh, thinking back, yeah, it's Jezebel. Really, yeah. But enough of Marin. And so okay, fine. I I told her, nope. We are leaving leaving on Friday morning, and we will get there. I'm walking by faith. I'm trusting in God. At that time, um, Paul and I were Christians. And so, okay, fine. Um, we, um, Friday came and, um, we drove and it was pouring down rain. Got the children in the car and went and stopped at the um, Airdrie. Went and told the um, school going to Colonia. It, my dad is dying. We be back, and it, I don't know how long, but and uh, okay, they understand, and we we left. Um, I headed to Kelowna, Kelowna. It was pouring down rain. And uh, we we got there. And um, called, called my mom. And she um, told me... Um, Come in in the morning because we we got there, I think 11, 
And so, okay, fine. We 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 stayed at um, Paul's mom's place in West Bank. Uh, so, okay. We, um, we went there to, to the hospital the next morning, um, went, and I had my small Bible in my left pocket holding on to and we um, went up to my dad's hospital room and um, went in and saw my dad. And my dad went into, into his chair, moved. He, he was really yellow. And I was this close. Leaving his hospital room, and if I left the hospital room, I wouldn't be able to come back. Yahweh told me to go and hug your dad, hug your father. I obey. I went. I. Hug my dad, hold on to my um, bubble, but hug my dad, and my dad told me he loves me very, very, very much. It's really, he was so happy to see me, and so it's like, um, I'm, hallelujah for Yahweh giving me his strength to do what I need, need to do. It's obedience. And so, okay. And then, talked to my mom, and then we went and got our children to uh, say their last goodbyes, and then went back and had um, supper. That and then, but staying staying at the um, I stayed at the the hospital, and then I had this. Um, Marin, Mary laugh, laugh, flying back to Canona for a job and an interview. Crap! That's uh, she should stay with with our father. No. W went for a job in the food. It's a, and, and she said, oh, Dad said, it's okay, I can go. Oh. That's... I wouldn't do that. I would stay. And that. She wasn't there when, when, when Dad died. She was there and getting a, going to a job in food. Jezebel, oh brother. Um, so, I had a, I stayed at the hospital at night, but I had this mind grain. I was there having a mind grain. And um, talking away to Grace, my my other sister, and she said, "Are oh, you gonna have regrets of not having a long time with our dad?" And I, said, I told, "No, nope, I won't have no regrets, and it's going to be part two.